artificial intelligence is completely transforming the ERP software industry. But how exactly is AI affecting ERP software and what do we need to know about it? That's what I want to talk about here today. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world reach their third stage of digital transformation success. And by now, you've probably all heard of artificial intelligence. Perhaps you're familiar with the concept of AI, or perhaps you've even tried ChatGPT and other types of AI solutions. But regardless, there's still open questions around what AI is, and more specifically, how AI is affecting ERP software. Are those two totally different technologies? Can they coexist? Is AI the same as ERP, or is ERP the same as AI? How do they fit together or not? Those are some of the questions I want to cover here today, is to talk about how AI is totally transforming how ERP software works. Now, to be clear, there are a lot of AI providers in the marketplace. Microsoft and Google, for example, are two big tech providers that are investing heavily in artificial intelligence. In many cases, these are standalone artificial intelligence platforms like OpenAI, ChatGPT, BARD, et cetera. On the other hand, some of the ERP software providers are also investing in AI capabilities, whether it's through machine learning, for example, or whether it's through other types of AI capabilities that they're trying to embed within their organic homegrown ERP systems. And in some other cases, the big ERP software providers are acquiring AI providers to try to own the AI technology that they can then embed in the future into the core flagship ERP systems. So regardless, there's a lot of different directions that AI is going. There's a lot of interest in AI. There's a lot of investment in it, a lot of R&D. So what I want to do today is talk about how AI is affecting ERP software and what you need to know about AI as you look to potential ERP solutions that you might be considering. Now, for more information about some of the leading ERP systems and other emerging technologies in the marketplace, I encourage you to download our digital transformation report. It's an annual report we publish each year that covers some digital transformation best practices and benchmarks, as well as provides independent reviews and rankings of different software solutions in the marketplace. You can read that report by scanning the QR code in front of you on the screen, or you can go to the links below in the description field of this video. The first way that artificial intelligence is changing the way we think about ERP software is that it's forcing us to think more about the value of data. If you think about it, without good data and clean data and accurate data and complete data, we can't make much use of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is only going to be as good as the data we provide to those AI models. So the good thing with AI is that it's forcing us to do something that we should have been doing all along with ERP software implementations, and that is to really focus on the data aspect of our current and future systems that we might be using. Now, it's not just internal data I'm talking about. Yes, it's important to make sure that your product master and your customer master and your transactional information is accurate and clean and all that good stuff, but AI is also allowing us to not only take better advantage of our internal data, but also to look at third-party data sources that might help us better predict what might happen in the future. For example, if you're a retail organization and predicting demand is difficult enough as it is, now you can start thinking about not only historic trends and historic patterns that your customers have demonstrated with the products that you're selling, but now you can leverage third-party data, such as weather-related information and other factors and other data sets that might influence whether or not or how consumer behavior changes. Now you've got access and an ability to take mass amounts of data and integrate it into an AI model that allows you to predict the future and get some additional insights and understanding of what might happen in some of these predictive models. This is just one example, of course, but hopefully it paints a picture of how AI is forcing ERP systems and those that use ERP systems to rethink how they view data and how they're leveraging data as an important competitive advantage and a competitive asset. In addition to the focus on better data, Artificial intelligence is also allowing us to get more efficiency from our employees. It's allowing us to better leverage the competencies and skills that we have. In many cases, it's allowing us to automate jobs and tasks that had been more mundane, repetitive, and low value tasks and do it in a way that's higher value and lower cost going forward. 
For example, a lot of ERP software providers are embedding ChatGPT and other AI platforms into their technology to make it easier for employees to find information. So in the past, when you've had to fumble your way through different menu options or remember certain transaction codes, now you can ask AI or through an AI interface, you can ask for the information you're looking for. At this point, it doesn't matter where in the system this information resides. All that matters is that you know how to ask the question of what it is you're looking for. So this is just one example of how that's gonna save a certain amount of time for a certain amount of employees within your organization. And there's a whole host and a whole variety of ways that AI could potentially make your employees more efficient. So artificial intelligence is giving us the ability to make better use of our employees and to get more efficiency from employees and also just to make employee jobs easier. And quite frankly, this is something that should have always been the case with ERP systems. It always should have been easy to use. It should have been easy to get the information you needed, but that hasn't been the case until now. Now with artificial intelligence, it's becoming easier to access the information we need and do so in a very efficient way. One of the biggest ways that AI is improving the usage of ERP software is to make employees more effective. I've talked about how it's made them more efficient, but it's also making them more effective. And the reason for this is because now employees have tools that allow them to get more from the systems and the technologies they have in place. Not only can they access information easier, but now they can have access to information and models and predictive analytics that they didn't have before. And this allows us to be smarter as humans. So by having AI combined with ERP software capabilities, employees are just gonna be able to do more in their jobs. Now, a lot of people are afraid that AI might take away their jobs, and in some cases it may, but I would argue that there's just as many opportunities for AI to create jobs, or at the very least, allow existing jobs to be more effective because it's giving them the tools, the insights, and the mass scale and quantities of thinking that no one human is capable of doing. So one way to think about AI is to look at how can we leverage AI within ERP to make our employees not only more efficient, but also more effective. ERP systems have historically been notorious for becoming somewhat of a money pit, a cost center, a high risk endeavor that costs a lot of money and typically doesn't have a lot of value to show for it. But with the advent of artificial intelligence, it's allowing us to rethink ERP software and really think about what is the purpose of the ERP system we're trying to deploy. If we're using it as a way to make our employees more efficient, to make us more effective as an organization, and to give us insights and access to information that we never had before, then the idea here and the assumption would be that ERP software can now deliver some sorts of business value that ERP systems hadn't been able to in the past. And this is very important because so many organizations nowadays are becoming very sensitive to the risks of ERP software deployments. And they're also becoming sensitive to costs without value to show for it. This is something that's very common in the mid market, especially within the private equity space where private equity firms are investing in mid market companies, high growth companies, and they have a different set of expectations that are focused on value creation, and they're not necessarily tolerant or as tolerant of investing in technology for technology's sake. And this fits very nicely with the AI integration with ERP software, because now we can take an old outdated technology like ERP software and leverage more emerging technology and capabilities like AI to make ERP software more valuable and something that actually creates value for an organization rather than sucking up costs, time, and resources. So look to AI in the near term, in the near future, to continue to drive this value creation and to get us out of that mode of focusing on back office types of functions that don't necessarily add value and focusing more going forward on those high value areas that are actually gonna increase the customer experience, increase the employee experience, and ultimately increase the return on investment that we get from our technology investments. A final way that artificial intelligence is transforming the ERP software space is that it's allowing organizations now to think more strategically about technology and really focus on strategic results. So now we can think about technology not just as a back office function, but something that allows us to accomplish our bigger, longer term, big picture strategy that's so important to us as an organization. When we combine ERP software and all the transactional back office data that resides in our ERP systems with artificial intelligence, now we have different sets of insights and understanding into our organization, as well as what might happen in the future and what is likely to happen in the future in ways that allow us to be a lot more strategic. 
It allows us to spend less time out there looking for information and doing manual tasks and more time doing what we're really good at as humans, which is thinking and observing and absorbing the information that we're getting from these AI models so that we can make better decisions and do things that are in the best interest of our longer term strategic vision as an organization. So these are just a few examples of how artificial intelligence is changing the way we can and should view ERP software. For more information about how ERP is evolving and some of the emerging technologies within the ERP software space, I encourage you to download our digital transformation report. It's an annual report we publish each year that contains a number of industry best practices and lessons learned from ERP implementations, but it also includes a number of independent software reviews and rankings that are meant to help you through your digital transformation strategy. You can read that report by scanning the QR code on the screen in front of you, or you can go to the links in the description field below. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day. And this isn't just internal data I'm talking to. Hmm. And this is, <laughs> wow. And this is something I can't get out of my mouth. Product masters and production scheduling and product masters, all that stuff. That's all still very important. Say that again? Oh, did I? <laughs> Thank you. And I shall say it a third time. <laughs>